Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheese87, and this is Let's Play Yeast Origin. If you're not familiar with this series, or this game, this is a prequel to the Yeast series, which is kind of a pretty niche action JRPG series that it's grown in popularity in the past few years, but this is a prequel to the first two games. It's while it is somewhat connected, uh, it's very standalone. This is my introduction to the series, and for the most part, like you can play and or watch the game and not miss anything if you even have if you've never even touched a game in the series before. That's one of the strengths of the series is that they're all very detached from each other, and so that you can enter them at any time. But yeah, so I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit on this uh, first screen because this game has a character selection uh, system. There's three characters in this game. There's two that are available from the start, and then there's a third secret character that you unlock after beating the game with the first two characters. But the reason I'm kind of staying on this screen is because I want to kind of jump through that section really quick, because if I were to hit new game, it'll bring us to character selection, and I don't want to linger there too long, because there is a third character that's a spoiler. And even though it's not too in your face about it, I don't want to stay on the screen for more than just a couple seconds. Uh, we're going to be playing the game first as Hugo, because that's the character I played first when I played the game, and it's the best character that I think has the best overall story. For the most part, the three playthroughs are pretty similar gameplay-wise. They have different little story beats here and there. But uh, yeah, so we're going to start with Hugo, and we'll play on, I guess, hard for the first playthrough. We might bump it up to Nightmare for the second two, depending on how I'm feeling. So yeah, new game. That's Unica. Shit. Uh, <laughs> that Unica is the second character. The third character just don't even look at the bottom of the screen. Because, like I said, it's kind of a spoiler. I don't know what this is. I'm just going to disable it. And we get a cutscene. It's not in English, so <laughs> don't worry. The rest of the Well, there's not really very much voice acting. I don't think there's actually any voice acting in this game. It's been a... well, it hasn't been that long since I played it last, but it's been a long time since I, uh... What do you say? Played it... beat it. I played first got into this game in 2013. I actually tried to do a Let's Play this game years ago, but it just didn't work out. I'm just gonna kind of... like I said, the story in this game is... It really starts off as kind of a throwaway, but I really kind of found myself like surprisingly interested in it by the end. Basically, there was this old land, and it was bad, and there was magic metal and rocks, because that's a JRPG staple right there, magic rocks. The place was called Yeast, you know, it was pretty cool, but then bad things happened in typical JRPG fashion. As, as you can see, disaster struck. <laughs> like I said, it, the story really starts as a throwaway, but it does, it's better than it has any right to be, is how I would put it. I hope the, uh, I mean, the voice acting right here isn't in English anyway, so it's not that, but it's really quiet, and there's not a um, voice acting slider. So if I were to try and bump up the audio here, it would make everything else really loud. So, yeah, demons and stuff made a group of people in Yeast just say, Fuck this, we're out, and then they floated a city into the sky. The demons try and make a big old tower. On constru. I guess that's French. Is it? I don't know why it's the cutscenes in French, but uh, I'm assuming that's French. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a language person. I barely speak English. Rock the very foundation. See, the joke is that it's in the sky, so it doesn't have any foundation because it's a floating city. Get it? Uh, so the two priestess things, they bounced down to the cursed land 
you know, they left Sanctuary or whatever. And so then a party is formed to go find them, which is, you know, that's what we're a part of. That it? Is it supposed to be a black screen here? <laughs> uh, game? Game? I don't know if this is supposed to happen, or if this is frozen, or... Okay, there it goes. Woo! Okay, there's a little opening scene here where... Well, can we not skip it? I guess we can't skip it, <laughs> so never mind, JK. We anime boys. So you get to hear a bit of the music. That's one thing that I will say about the East games. They have fantastic music. Like, every single one of them. So we'll... I guess we'll have to watch this, uh... This anime sequence here. The rest of the game doesn't have any anime, so just in case you were wondering. So there's some demons. Then you can see the AI. Uh, I can never remember. Is the place that leaves like called Geese, or is the land that they're leaving Geese? Like I said, it's been a while since I really played this game. So there's the tower, which, as you can probably guess, that's where we're going to be spending the majority of our time, is uh, exploring the giant dungeon tower. I really think it's weird that you can't skip this. <laughs> or at least if you can, I don't know what button to press. I've hit everything and nothing's happened. But we're, we're this far in, so we may as well just... Uh, stay around, I guess. Like I said, I hope the music's, uh, if it's, if it's too low, I'll maybe try and go in and, uh, in post and boost it up, because, you know, this is the first video recording a new series. Things are gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of growing pains, especially since I'm still pretty, uh, new. Well, new in the sense that since I've returned and started doing Let's Plays again. That's not good. Evil tentacles of death. That's actually kind of... I, that's actually important. That's part of the story. Like, what just happened is we we're teleporting down to the... To the world, whatever. The below world. But they cast that spell and it throws us all away. So we're Hugo. For this first playthrough. Determine the whereabouts of the goddesses and bring them back safely to Solomon Shr Solomon Shrine, that's what it's called. We have the Eyes of Fact, which are like magic artifacts that let us do magic laser beams. Oh boy, it won't be quite so easy. So this is what the actual game looks like. No, no anime boys anymore. Ugh. Looks like I made it to the surface, and I'm still alive, because, as you saw, we kind of got all knocked off course. Did the transport spell fail? No, it had to be something more than that. An impact like that was not the result of a mere accident. So it's a magic tree. It's a magic talking tree, by the way. It says, you know, we Zelda boys. Indeed, it's a Rhoda tree, a tree with a soul, born of the goddesses. I suppose that explains why this is the only place that's not thick with poison gases. It's a miracle this tree has managed not only to survive, but to 
thrive all this time amidst such desolation. I'm not giving the tree a voice, in all honesty. <laughs> so there's two trees, apparently. You are from Ye- okay, so Yees is the place in the sky. Okay, we're, we're just getting that out of the, you know, situated first. We're Hugo, Hugo Fact. The, the House of Fact is kind of like famous fact uh, in Yees. Perhaps around 50 or so. I don't mean to be rude, but I really don't have time for idle chatter right now. I'm in search of Lady Re and Lady Fina. Have you seen either of them? They vanished without a trace from Solomon's shrine a few days ago. No one's heard of them since then. Oh yeah, Hugo's a dick, by the way. We'll, we'll, you'll get to see more of that later on, but Hugo's an absolute pompous asshole and I love it. So it's true then, they came down to the surface. Do you know where they went? And if they're alright, I cannot answer the latter question, I'm afraid. But yeah, I just said I wasn't going to read the tree's uh, voices. Well, you know. So they're inside the spooky tower that we saw. Oh, an ominous painting. Dude, that thing is super far away. I was afraid you might say that. That tower is said to be a veritable nest of demons. What the hell do those two want in a place like that? Yeah, that's kind of what we came down here, Tree. Dude, we don't need those losers. No, I must go now. There's not a moment to lose. If the others come here, please let them know that I've gone to the tower. Tell them that's where the goddesses can be found. You know, I should have set a timer, because I don't know like how long we've been recording. Let me do that now. We'll probably do approximately 30 minute episodes, anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. This first episode may be a little shorter, maybe a little longer, just because... Oh man, there's another cutscene. They're really blowing their all their cutscene budget in the beginning of the game. Because there's like none left after this, I don't think. Yeah, those birds haven't aged well. They looked uh, pretty artifacty. Dude, these black screen. Okay, that one was a little bit shorter. So yeah, we just get teleported to the tower because, you know, that's all that's all this game is, is it's climbing a tower. That sounds more boring than it actually is. What's that? Curses, we're surrounded! Dino, alien name that's stupid. Can you handle the beast on your side? Yeah, you better erect that barrier, girl. Don't worry, Hugo's here to save the day. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. What? Hugo Fact, is that you? No, he's father because he's a priest, that's not actually his dad, in case you were wondering. Alright you two, let's take these things down. We gotta fight these and I'd... let's see if I remember how to play this game. How dare you, filthy beast, tread upon our land. If power is what you seek. And so there's his magic eyes effect, which let him shoot uh, laser beams. So, uh, yeah, you attack and stuff. Those with the controls. You basically, you know, you move with Wazda, attack with uh, left mouse. You can also use, uh, I think, Z to attack, but it's a little awkward. The controls for this game is probably its biggest weakness. They're... Odd, I guess. Both uh, the PC controls and you can play with a controller, but they're very, it's very hard to, oh god. Also, the biggest thing that confuses me is jumping is with the right mouse button, not space. 
space actually activates your like super meter. So occasionally you'll, you'll see me randomly do that because I try to jump with space instead of right click. Hmm. Is that all you've got? I've heard there were imposing creatures amongst the invading demons, but it seems these were not they. So we got Elo Eloia? Eloia? Whatever. She's an alkalite, and she has some long ass hair. Thank you for your help. And there's Dino, I guess? It's probably not Dino. I assume he's not pronounced Dino. He, he's, you know, he doesn't roleplay as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. For the most part, I won't be reading all the dialogue, because I know that bugs some people. But at the same time, when a game has no voice acting, it can get kind of dull if you just, like, don't say anything. So, for the most part, I'll do most of Hugo's voices. Voice, like, pronounce it, not pronounce. I'll do say what Hugo says out loud, and everyone else will probably just kind of skip over and just offer comments. And where were the other members of the search party? I wish I knew. And all I can say for certain is that the transport spell which carried us here was interrupted. Because they shot flagic, flagic, magic black tentacles at us. Most likely. Eloia and Oz were the ones control. Wow. Fucked up, nerds. And the attack came from this tower, I assume? This is where the goddesses are, man. Hugo detailed what the magic talking tree had told him. What? The goddesses? Here? What could have compelled them to come to such a dangerous place? Because it's the only thing here. There's a big-ass tower and then just a bunch of wasteland. I'm gonna search the perimeter, starting with the rota trees. Man, I forgot to get water. I just had like a swallow left. I hope it'll uh, hold me over. And what will you do? Given the welcome we received, I don't think it's prudent to wait until the whole party's been gathered, then move out. I think it'd be pr prudent. Well, you know, we don't do what's prudent. Okay, we're gonna charge in there by ourselves, because we're Hugo Facts. You know, I believe it'd be better if we were to go on ahead and serve the area alone. Or if I were to, whatever. If the rabble we just fought was the worst this tower has in store, I don't anticipate any difficulty. As you wish. Okay, so we got magic crystal. It lets us talk to people. An item of magic? Oh no, no, yeah. I think that's something else. This lets us purify these statues that are save points. We had initially thought that to be the case, but it would seem not. Watch closely. Another angel statues. Or a goddess statue, whatever. You know, they're basically the same thing. They've got wings. Okay. Okay, that it also lets us teleport us between towers, which is useful for traversing the area. For the most part, there's not really too much backtracking in this game, but it's still a useful feature because you can miss things, like equipment upgrades and things like that. Oh, there's the magic talking conch. That's what lets us talk to people. And this would be for long-range communication, though. Yes, the, the conch shell. Indeed, a very useful tool to have. Hello. I will keep it safe. If that's all, then I'm going to head up into the tower proper. We'll be waiting here for the others. Come back if you find anything. And remember, the demons built this tower, so there's no way of knowing what awaits us here. Please, exercise caution. Caution smoshin. Let's run in. Guns blade, well, magic laser beams. Uh, ignore that. As you can see, consider them on save file 6, or like the 6th slot. I've played this game quite a bit. Granted, also, like, I just have a ton of saves. Just because I, I do that in every game. 
So let's see if we can uh, remember how to play this game. Oh god, buddy, nah. So while I haven't beaten this game in years, I've played it somewhat recently. Uh, got maybe about three, four hours in. Okay, please, whatever you're doing, stop. Unfortunately, one thing that does kind of suck is you have to click individually every time. You can't just like hold down and fire. Oh god. So usually, uh, red glowy enemies like that mean that if they're killed, they lift a curse, which lets you access something. Sometimes it's a chest like this, other times it's like story. Uh, I think that's a heal. I can't remember what that does in all honesty. I assume it's a heal. I mean, I would, you know, it looks like a magic potion, and a pankia is usually a, or however you pronounce it. Oh god. There's a lot of, lot of this in uh, Hugo's gameplay especially, because he's the one ranged character. The other three characters are all, uh, melee. Unica's like mid-range, like she has melee weapons, but she has a little bit more range. I think she uses like an axe. I haven't played uh, anyone besides Hugo in basically since I originally played the game, so that's when uh, you'll really start to see me fail a lot. That's also part of the reason why I picked Hugo, because I've played him the most recently. And he's probably the easiest character, just because he has long range. Okay, what is this? Oh, we have to uh, click it. Why is it here? Either way, it's better off with me than it is the demons. Yoink! So we got a Cerulean... Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to butcher that word. Flabellum? A surge of power bursts from the artifact. So we got our first magic skill, which is a uh, it's wind base. For Hugo, each character, the, uh, the magics do different things. There's three of them in the game. There's a wind, a thunder, and a fire one. The wind one for Hugo gives him a little shield. And it also, well, we'll get to see it in a second. It's a secondary effect. But uh, I can't remember, is it? Yeah. Left middle mouse button will cast your magic, and it gives him a little shield, but it also, as you can see, uh, it lets him kind of like float, which is useful for platforming and things like that. Okay. So, what do we... I'll wait for it to recharge and then just kind of show it all. You see, we kind of like float down, but I think this we have to do down here. I think we have to kill these guys or put a switch or something. See what's over here. Yeah, there we go. Pressure plates. I wonder if we can jump to it from there. Probably not. But I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah, there's no way we make it. Wait, oh no. Perspective fucked with me. I don't know if there's a timer, so I'm just gonna kind of rush it. Oh god, leave me alone, nerd. So as you saw back in that first room, there is an RPG system in this game. You do level up. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to go away. It doesn't really, uh, for the most part, it's just passive bonuses. I mean, that is what it is. You just get extra HP, defense, and attack. It's not too uh, detailed. But it, uh, it is important, because if you're underleveled, it can make fights very hard. What's up here? Can we go here yet? It's locked up tight. Won't open without a key. Okay. There's a lot of a lot of this in the early early game, especially these tanky enemies like that. You're not really. Uh, I guess one thing I should talk about. There is a. Com I guess you could say it a com a combo system, as you can see in the corner next to our uh, portrait. Wow, that thing goes forever. Oh wow, that hit us. Uh, we're like. Kind of skirting it. I mean, we are playing on hard, just because normal's a little too easy. But hard is a, maybe a little too much for. Well, not too much, but it's gonna. You know, there's gonna be some growing pains. 
Uh, you do have, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying, the, uh, the combo system. As you can see we have a hit count. The main thing that does is that, uh, it increases your, the experience you get. Like, when you're at 99 hits, you get double experience. There's also, like, little drops that give passive bonuses. I can't, isn't this a trap? Don't they, like, jabate you here? What the? We got trapped. Okay, that's good. There's a save. Because I need the heals. Because we are one hit away from death. Hmm, must have been a teleport trap. Can't believe I walked into it. But the fact that a trap was even set at all means... Okay. Let's save. Uh, save. Let's see, we're at playtime 23 minutes. Where's my timer? My timer's at... Yeah, that's probably about right. We'll play for a little bit longer. Like I said, generally... I can't... Isn't there a... Can you fight a mini boss here? Or something? After this... A mini boss that might actually beat me? I can't remember. Maybe that's later. I think that's maybe... Oh, God. Ah! Oh, God. Knights. Okay, ooh, we gotta level up. And that's another important thing about level ups, is they fully heal you. So that's uh, one thing you can play around. The little bar underneath our uh, equipment, that little orange bar is our experience. A lot of times you can just kind of like brute force single enemies using the uh, shield. Also, as you saw there, the shield does like minor amounts of damage if you run into enemies. It's not really too useful. It's actually kind of important for the final boss, if I recall correctly. But, for the most part, that's just kind of like a passive thing that you never really notice. Ah! That lunge attack. And these destructo discs. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. So, I feel like there's a... Maybe it's later. Maybe it's after you get the thing to go past the teleport room. Because basically, there's six major sections to the tower in this game. This is the first section. Uh, each section has a mini boss and a major boss, or just a main boss, I guess you could call it. You generally fight the mini boss at, you know, you can probably guess about halfway through the game, or halfway through the section. I think there's six. Maybe there's just, uh, yeah, I think there's six major sections. And you know, each has a, well, each one after this has a theme, you know, the next level's water, there's a fire level. There's a chest over there, so there is, I wouldn't say equipment, uh, I mean, it is equipment, but it's not like, you know, it's not loot, like you might think in an RPG or something. There's each section has like its predetermined uh, equipment. Whoa, where am I? Uh, I don't know if that was supposed to happen. But uh, get uh, get wreck nerd, please go away. So let's uh, retry that. I don't know what happened there. We like got stuck in the a uh, block or something. First off, let's, uh... Also, there's that little thing. I never remember how to do it, but that's like a secondary attack. Where you shoot a little lightning bolt, and it, uh... Lowers people's defense. I think you do it by, like... Pressing W and then right-clicking. Or left-clicking, like... I don't remember. Where am I supposed to go? I'm kind of lost, which is not a good sign. Have we not killed all these wizards yet? Wait, that is, is that another one or did we not kill him? I see... Yeah, okay. He just didn't quite die. So, where am I supposed to go? We went over here. Yeah, that's where we came from. Oh man, this is not good getting lost in the first video. Oh, here we go, down here. 
Whoa. What I might do is... Hmm. I might clear out this floor and then end the video. I was thinking about waiting to the next uh, save, but I think that's going to be a little too far away because we're probably at about 20 minutes, I mean 30 minutes already. And I generally don't like to, I like to make the first video of a series somewhat short. Just so that it's not as, like, you know. I can't think of. Int intimidating is not really the white, right, right, the white word. The right word. If I can, uh, quit being Elmer Fudd for a minute. Whoa. Okay. That, I got the. Ju oh, God. Crazy knight flashing red boy. You know what, let's uh, activate our super for a second. Our super basically uh, lets us shoot six times at once. You know, we'll finish this room and then... Uh, you really should, like, there's no real reason to... Uh, you could be kind of liberal with your super because you charge it fairly quickly. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see, my timer that I set about 10 minutes in is at 19 minutes, so. For future reference, I'll need to uh, set a timer at the start. We got an emerald. Those are other collectibles. Uh, they just increase your skills. Emeralds are for your green skills. You know, the other colors are for the rest. I think there's three for each. The main thing they unlock is it lets you charge. So, like, if you were to hold it down... Now that we have that, we can charge it, and it's a bigger, fancier shield that lasts for longer. And I think it absorbs more hits. Uh, is there something I'm supposed to do there? Then we go explore this direction? I didn't see anything over there. Oh god. Ah! Shitty wizards. Oh man, okay. See, you can kind of see. Yeah, uh, pushing into people. It did seven whole damage, basically. So, as, you, as I mentioned, it's not really that useful. I mean, it's kind of good for, like, pushing people. Oh, wow. Lame. The only problem with, uh, using your super is that it, of course, uses more magic. Which means the, uh, time period between you, uh, being able to cast it again. And since a lot of times I use the, uh, Hugo's Wind, that's kind of like a block. If you don't have it available, it can kind of screw you over. Is there anything around here? I don't think so. Do do. What is this? Oh, this is the thing that I think we need to open the other thing. Uh, moon runes. What? What in the world are you? A demon? No, this is no ordinary demon. This is an advanced demon. No, it's a furry creature. It's supposed to be a rue. <laughs> a rue. <laughs> One of the sacred beasts of yeast. So you're telling me all the yeast were furries. The, the yeastians? The yeast guards? I don't know what they call themselves. Poor things must have been transformed into demons by the noxious gases outside. I'm sorry for what happened to you, but if your intent is to attack me... Dude, look at it. It's not gonna attack anyone. Did he just end its sentence with a paw? I have no idea what you're trying to say. If Rico were here, he might be able to understand you, but I'm simply at a loss. It wants our food. Like all animals, that's all it cares about. It just wants food. Yes, your stomach told me as much. Yeah, their love of that fruit we just found ten minutes ago. Give it a road of fruit. And man, it's writing a whole essay about how much it loved that. Is that? So that's Claria Ore? We can use that to upgrade our wand, staff, thingy, magic laser beams. 
What just happened? Ah, I see you use magic to refine it on the spot and infuse my wand with its essence. Not bad at all. Seems even demon transformation can't impede those famous crew talents I've heard so much about. Okay, so we got our, uh, our upgrade. And what we can do now is... Where's the crystal? Use that to just teleport back. So basically, there's Rue on every section. You give them the fruit, they upgrade your weapons. It's pretty important. So what we'll do is save the game. Then we'll go put that thing in the depression, probably fight the mini boss, and uh, keep exploring from there. So yeah, I'm XGZ87. This has been Let's Play Yeast Origin. Uh, stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.